And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sivir Swain. That's right, we're going to be playing another Sivir deck, another Swain deck, putting them together. This should be pretty cool. So we're going to be, uh, we're going to have a lot of non-combat damage cards because we need that to level up our Swain, right? Like we want to be able to deal non 12 non-combat damage to level up Swain. Well, non-combat damage also helps level up Sivir. With the Sivir, when it, when it says that you've dealt 35 plus damage, that doesn't have to just be um, throughout combat. So all of the spells that we have that deal non-combat damage, that's still dealing damage for leveling up Sivir. So we're going to try to deal 35 damage here with this. We got a couple of, of uh, cards that I haven't played before that look pretty interesting to try to level up our champions. We have Weighted Judgment, which isn't that great at killing champions, but it can kill like a Twisted Fate and an Aphelios and a Zoe. And things like that but where it really shines is the seven damage to a follower that's over halfway to leveling up swain a fifth of the way to leveling up sivir all by itself so if they play things you know like a like a five mana dragon or a scythria or you know something like that we can do seven damage to a follower uh, but then boomerang blade it's going to be pretty awesome uh an ally strikes the strongest and weakest enemies this is a card that um, has a lot of potential, some really high upside. It works the best with our things with Spell Shield, Ruin Runner, Sivir, to, to try to help protect it. But it's it's just no matter what your opponent, you know, like basically no matter what the strongest enemy and the weakest enemy is, that's what's going to strike. So they, they can't really like try it. Like if you use like a regular fight spell, they can try to like do something to protect their unit. But like with this, it's, it's just going to hit the, the, the strongest and the weakest, no matter what they are. So I'm really interested to try this one out. It'll be our first time playing that card. We got Spirit Fire in here that can do a lot of damage also for leveling up our champions. Plus this minus two, minus zero can get rid of cards that would be fearsome that would be able to block Swain. So that could be pretty cool too. Um, let's see what else we got. Uh, besides that, we just have like some good interaction, you know, other good curve out cards, good interaction. You know, we have like our Century Flock combo, both Doom Keeper, House Fighter. Those are cards that can do a lot of damage early. Same with like Glory Seeker can attack for a lot. All of that helps level up Sivir. Uh, got some card draw in here with the Preservarium. And that's our deck. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Sivir Swain. We'll go play our five games in ranked. Ooh. All right, Fior Shen. Fior Shen's always a tough one. So usually we would keep Dune Keeper, but Dune Keeper doesn't do very much against Fiora. I still kind of want to keep one, though. Yeah, I think we'll keep one. I'm not going to keep them both, though. Good. Get some decent interaction. Quicksand is nice. Wow, that's a... Good Egghead Researcher. It's a card I need to play more. Egghead Researcher. That's a fun. It's a fun card to play. By my honor, you must die. I can two for one myself by just going Death's Hand and Flock. Sivir again. Sivir doesn't line up that great against barriers, and so getting rid of that Death's Hand against a barrier could definitely be a mistake. What a specimen. You've got a problem, I've got a price. So my plan is they cast repost. That's my plan. My plan is attack with Sivir, they block with Fiora, cast repost, or whatever other like four mana barrier. And then I flock to get rid of the barrier, and then quick attack kills it. It's a living. That's my plan. Is this supposed to be a challenge? So, <clears throat> not only am I having my flock oh. kill the Fiora, but we also just got rid of a repost from their hand, also a Fiora's repost. And that's why I didn't just flock it last turn. And it also took their whole turn up, the four mana. Two worlds, one balance. Oh, why aren't you cheaper, Boomerang Blade? 
See, this was Siphoning Strike. Siphoning Strike would just kill the Shen right now. I find them unworthy. It doesn't... It doesn't say the stream's lagging at all on my end, so maybe just try refreshing. Danger pays. Yeah, I don't I don't really love yeah, I don't love open boomerang. I don't really even love like the just like the spirit fire here. I don't really like any option. My I was hoping they weren't gonna do this. I was hoping they weren't going to do that. But I guess I have to use the quicksand. Because the reason why I was hoping not, because we have to use the quicksand. And now I can't play like any of these things also. You know, I can't play a seven mana spell. Alright, I'm just getting a ricochet out of my hand. Get some damage on the Fiora for Scorched Earth. <laughs> yeah, drawing three Sivir and then two seven mana spells and three Sivirs isn't perfect. I agree. So I'll try that. All these cards are just so expensive. Seven mana cards. Six mana. So yeah, Nopify and Deny. Stop that. Mm. Where if I if I would have gone Spirit Fire, they could just go, you know, Sharp Sight. So. The desert by my side. The age of begun. There are more like you. Dude, Egghead Researcher is great. I guess we have to. Please no deny. Just let it happen. Because that will be 10 damage. And I would almost level up Sivir. So close to leveling up Sivir. Because, <laughs> yeah, we're at 34. But still, so like a barrier card still... can't really attack with the Sivir. Because of a barrier card. I probably just shouldn't even be attacking at all. Like, So basically, they can use Sharp Sight. Yeah. So yeah, so they're able to do that. So they they turn... Okay, so they turn that Spirit's Refuge into another dragon. They say they can turn a barrier or a Sharp Sight into a dragon. Down to nine. All right, so they're just turning, turning single combat into another dragon. Or wait, no, no, because that dragon died, so they don't get a dragon. Yeah, so that was just kind of a waste. Business as usual. We're just so bad against barriers. Like, I don't even... I don't even know if I can... Attack. Well, it was... It was correct last... Like, barrier was correct last time.
All right, that card stops a barrier. That's good. Water changes, but never or kills a river shaper. Okay, good. A gift from the river folk. Ah! I'm glad that wasn't repost, because obviously I would have just died if that was repost. Business as usual. That was a weird block. I am one with the land. Mm. <laughs> We've drawn so many sivers. I don't know, I don't love this. Bust it up, repost. It's always important. So we know this other card enhances spell, right? Because like they haven't they haven't played as a unit. So then this card that they just drew could be either. Take that down. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. Hmm. That's not as good. Weight of judgment. <laughs> I wish this was just you know like so. Culling strike would kill that Fiora. That would be nice. I guess killing bright steel formation is more important than killing Fiora. I guess. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, why can't this card just be 3 and 6? 3 is just so important to deal with the champions. There's so many 3 health champions. Why can't it be 3 and 6? Doesn't even seem like a good use of single combat. You're sitting with Fiora. What a draw! Found our top end. They drew their Bright Steel Protector a couple of turns ago. So only fair that we get a Leviathan. They take three overwhelm. Everything I've worked for. And there we go. Man, what a game. That one was super close. Tons and tons of sivers. And we fought through those barriers as well. Ooh, playing some spiders. So yesterday we played against this vert, like, you know, same region, same champion, and they had tons of nexus damage, direct nexus damage. We, um, we only took four total combat damage, and then we still died on, like, turn seven from, like, all the rest nexus damage. See what we see. I'll just 
just attack both. Ready. Okay, so Ragnoid Horror was not a card that was played last time. Drew the flock for our combo. Ooh, yeah, Spirit Fire would be a really good one to draw. But, like, that's what I had yesterday with, like, the, the Lissandra Swain, right? Is I just had all these um, area of effect damage cards, and then they just played... They didn't even, like, go wide. So, that yeah, this one's much more spider-ish. Last time they didn't even go wide, they just... Uh, was all burn spells. It's like, three Imperial Demolitionists, a Doom Beast, two Decimates, Noxion Fervor... Weight of Judgment coming in clutch against the 5 health Spida. And now since it dealt 7 damage, we got leveled up Swain. So we did 7 damage with, with that card. We did 4 damage with Ravenous Flock, so that's 11. So you may be thinking, wait, how, do we, how is it leveled up? We only dealt 11. Well, remember that Dune Keeper on turn 1 played the little spiky Sand Soldier that threw that spike at my opponent, and that was 1 non-combat damage so that was damage number 12 as far as the swain is concerned yeah perfect math swain deck um. Ruin Runner is a better blocker than Sivir, but I'm playing Sivir so that I can play Sivir and Glory Seeker this turn. Victory requires a sharp blade. Suffer long. No, your Alright, this would be me down to eight. Down to five. I was gonna say this is lethal, but I guess they get to—they do get to block. <clears throat> they get to block Sivir. One's not dead. But I can't kill them either. Wow, it was a fervor. Wow. Yeah, so I mean, their last three cards were fervor, decimate, fervor, you know, like with the draw step. And... Wow. Alright, well, good game. Ooh. This one's always tough. For slower decks like ours. I mean, I guess I could. I guess we keep Sentry Flock. It's good. Like Sentry Flock's good if they have turn three Lissandra. But if they, like, I really hope they don't have the two mana two one. That's what always makes me really sad. The Avarosen Sentry. I really hope they don't have that card. Pass. No sentry. Yay. Sand and blood. That's fine. That's better than sentry. We trade one for one and they take it. You know, we both take a damage. Alright. Hopefully they play Lissandra. No. 
No, they didn't play with Sandra. No, they do have sentry. Yuck. Man, sentry is so good. You wanted, Arose, you wanted to play this with Lissandra Swain yesterday? Why? Do you think Lissandra, do you think Lissandra Swain is favored in this matchup? I would think that they would be pretty heavily favored against Lissandra Swain. I think this, this version is more aggressive, so I think this version probably has a better chance. Again, this was this was siphoning strike though. Could have killed that trundle and gave the silver plus two plus two. All right, gonna stun. Try to keep them from attacking. I said attacking. I definitely meant the blocking. I just said the wrong word. And <laughs> try to keep them from blocking. That's better. So this is this is pretty awkward how I can't Like if I Ravenous flock the Trundle, that doesn't do anything. Because the Trundle regens and then th that's beginning of round. Interesting. Ages pass, yet I remain. Interesting. No. No, my server was so close to leveling up. Saw that a mile away. Okay, so attack first or let them play or play Leviathan and let them play Ice Pillar first. I guess it's just attack first, put him down to five. But I do kind of like having the Leviathan, you know, like if I... So I do one less damage. If I play Leviathan, they play Ice Pillar. No, it's just it's just attack first. Because So if I do that, I can challenge the Ice Pillar, and then I do one less damage to them. They're at six instead of five. But that Ice Pillar is dead. But the problem with that is it allows them to play their mana... Like, spend their mana on the Ice Pillar and then spend mana. They could, like, then play, like, a Vengeance or something. Trundle's dead. Block. This game's gone really well for us. Really, really well. I will pass. You want to pass? Go ahead. Pass. Mm, they didn't choose pass. Maybe they will this time. Pass. Alright, that's going to be tough to vengeance or ruination or kill this Leviathan. Oh, but their Nexus is tough now. Right, Leviathan doesn't kill them anymore. They got that tough Nexus. Yes, gotta play Swain for the stun. Born a patrician, I became a soldier. Time to become a soldier. Mm -mm. I guess I could just kill an Ice Pillar. Yeah, I'll get stunned anyway. 
Oh, it doesn't even get stunned! Because we don't do Nexus damage. Wow. Wow. Well then. I wish I knew how cards worked. The desert by my side. No, I know that doesn't do anything because they have the Ice Shard, but... Um, I was hoping that they, you know, like, maybe they, like, let me attack. I could have those two things challenge the two ice pillars, right? Like, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to have those challenge ice pillars. Order, sir. Bring forth our army. Bring forth our army. Alright, well, do they have vengeance? Hopefully not. Or, you know, flash freeze. Or anything. No, they did have flash freeze. Uh, good thing they didn't. They didn't uh, good thing they used it then. They didn't um, wait for me to play Might first, because I definitely would have played the Might. But they, they knew about this Ravenous Flock in hand. The reason why they did that, though is because they knew about the Swain's Ravenous Flock, because we drew it from the Leviathan. So they didn't want their Lissandra to take any damage. Oh, they had another Flash Freeze! Two of their three cards in hand are Flash Freeze? Oh, Fury of the North. Well, that will be bad for me, too. All right, so they're only at two out of four for the Watcher. This is gonna be fun. Do not embarrass me, troll. Man, Weight of Judgment just can't kill anything. All right, so what am I going? I'm going Swain. Swain Sentry. Wait. I guess that's too much mana. Just want to play another Leviathan. My my plan is to have like these overwhelm things challenge the O1s and you know overwhelm damage. Like that's my plan. Loyalty through conquest. Fire! In the sky! Leave them nothing. Yeah, I guess the, the Spear of Fire have this attack could have worked. Um, I'm kind of thinking like Leviathan draw Swain, have the Swain Ravenous flock the Lissandra. That's what I'm that's what I'm thinking right now. I'm going to do that. We're going to go Leviathan, then Flock. I guess just Spear of Fire and Way of Judgment both together would have killed this thing. Which I could still do. But Flock allows me to also wait a judgment if they save it with like a troll chant. Can see the border from here. Hooray! Oh, I guess it's not over. They're drawing a card. All right, so what do they draw? Six mana Ruination? Cerilda. Oh, so close. So close. Well, that'll do. Crazy game there. We have done 
We took the scenic route, we learned a lot, and we ended up winning. Zoe Ophelios. All right, so we'll get rid of Ride of Negation against Zoe Ophelios, and I'll keep the others. It looks like we have a kind of aggressive hand. I like early cards. The Emperor commands the land obey. Space Sketcher. Rose. They have the prismatic Zoe showing off. Whole bunch of prismatics in here. So they were gonna play like a Felios right here, and then get to Glory Seeker. It. Right, we'll, we'll Glory Seeker this thing. All right, two Zoe's down. So already two champions down. I've even drawn a champion. I've already killed two of theirs. We still have a good celestial card from the priestess. Now a good one from the mountain scryer. I know what I want. Barking at the back door. Barking at the back door. If only spear fire would kill these mountain scryers. We need to get that damage up for leveling up Sivir. I am planning on playing Spirit Fire this turn, which would mean I had three, the three other mana that go for the stun first. Oh no! No! Oh, that hurts! Oh, that hurts! I'm not going to risk the Sivir blocking with Hell Cascade and all that kind of stuff. It was my heart that led me here. These Targon cards are pretty good. Good. It's my best chance. Bask in her radiant blessing. Oh.
All right. Good game. Now it's personal. All right. Playing some aggro. They won't have cosmic inspiration, so that's going to be good. But they're going to be able to try to kill us quickly. Ruin Runner gone. Second Sentry gone. We'll keep one Sentry. Could definitely use a Dune Keeper. No Dune Keeper. What is a good champ to combo with Hecarim? Like, in the same region, like Thresh works really well with Hecarim. Um, Callista as well. Yesterday we played. Yesterday we played a Hecarim deck with Callista and Ephemeral deck, and it went fairly well. Um, but then, yeah, yeah, Lucian with, um, probably the most popular ones are like Lucian with Grand Plaza, Azir with the Sand Soldiers that are ephemeral, also works pretty well. No one's the wiser. If we could have had, like, Last Hand this game, Last Hand was awesome in this matchup. We had, you know, like, Doom Keeper and House Spider and... I think we had House Spider. Yeah, we had Do yeah, we had House Spider. Yes, yeah, so we had Doom Keeper, House Spider, all that kind of stuff. We even had the Spirit Fire. If we could only just switch, like this game, we have a bunch more nonsense that I, I just don't care about. Yay, Spirit Fire! Good job, Preservarium. Looking for trouble? It found you. So I guess I wait for them to attack before playing it. Nothing personal. All right, so I'm still down to seven. <laughs> Still dealt a lot of damage, but we're not dead, right? Like we were definitely dead if we did not did not find that spear of fire. I have my orders. So we're not definitely dead. See what we see. Fortune favors the bold. Azir's command. I'm not a six. Kind of party. Timing is everything. Moving into sight. So eleven. If I play the might, it does four, seven damage. To them puts them down to four. By the hour. There's not really that much difference between them being at eleven or, or being at four. I'll still do it. There, there is definitely some difference. This. Ricochet slow speed, but that may kill them with Ricochet plus Death's Hand. I, I want to save this spell mana. Because that gives me enough mana to play Ricochet and Death's Hand. This doesn't change a damn thing between us. If you insist. Alright, never mind. Stunning that. Alright, leveled up Siver. Alright, so I guess we just go to open attack. There we go. Super close. What a clutch spirit fire we drew. Let's save that game for us. 
All right, so finish with that three and two record with that Sivir Swain. Such a clutch Spirit Fire. We got that last game. Um, I yeah, liked how the deck played. You know, trying to beat Targon is it's really difficult, but um, I was impressed with it against the uh, the Watcher deck, and then there against the Aggro we had the Spirit Fire. Um, I really liked House Spider in this deck. I wouldn't mind playing a, th a third House Spider. There's a lot of those those times like against Aggro really want that third house spider and even against like some of the other matchups like just having the house spider to pressure i liked that card um weighted judgment and boomerang blade you know were um hit or miss boomerang blade um you know if you can cast this it, it has really high upside but we saw sometimes that having this and spirit of fire in our hand of like the seven manas in our hand were were a little rough i don't think i would play weighted judgment if i was playing this deck um moving forward it looked it was i mean it's a removal spell so it's not like terrible but it just feels like there's just better options in here like if you'd want to play um another death's hand or culling strike culling strike was really the card that basically the whole time we had way of judgment culling strike would have been better the one thing that it did like the seven damage to the follower did level up the swain quite a bit so like it, it does that um, but i also really like siphoning strike and there was multiple times where i think that we had way of judgment that like siphoning strike would have been awesome of getting that, um, you know, being a removal spell, but then growing Sivir to be like a seven five, so it's harder for them to to kill Sivir, and Sivir can block a little better because that's one thing is like Sivir is a good attacker, but Sivir really can't block very well. Um, so that that's another option. I I would go with either Culling Strike or Siphoning Strike over Weighted Judgments. Um, but besides that, I think I liked everything else in here. Yeah, I think I liked I liked the rest of them. Um, and Preservarium is just fine. I'm not sure. I don't know with Preservarium or Whisper Words. Preservarium or Whisper Words. I'm not sure. Preservarium was just fine. Uh, yeah, I don't. If, if you're somebody who loves Whisper Words, if you want to play that instead, go ahead. I'm not sure. But there we go. All right, so that's Silver Swain. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.